Hello everyone, this is uh, Broximo. I was uh, going to create a video for you guys. I'm going to create two short videos on my GTD setup. I'd like to get a couple things set up front. First of all, I want to th thank Vin for his, uh, his style. As you can see, I'm using the dark style. And the other thing I wanted to mention right up front is I'm not sure if it's called toodly do or toodle do. I call it toodly do because it just sounds better to me. So I guess Jake can answer that officially. but. So I will refer to it as Toodly Do from this point forward. Um, two short videos. The first one is going to cover the basic structure of my GTD setup. And the second video will go into a little more detail with some examples. So if you guys can bear with me, this one's just going to cover the, the folder setup uh, and the basic layout of my GTD setup with Toodly Do. Um, as you guys can see that what I chose to do is make the folders, I call them tabs because they look like tabs. Um, but I've made uh, every section within the GTD principles, your action list, your projects, waiting for, which is considered deferred, someday maybe, ticklers, and I purposely left the reference fo uh, folder out because I quite frankly I don't really use references. I, if I have any real references, I usually file them physically in my file cabinet. Um, but you can add as many folders on here as you like. But these are the main areas of GTD, excluding the reference folder. Um, Obviously, I'm in my inbox right now, and I have just an example task for you. Um, what I simply do is when I process my inbox, which never has just one task, um, I choose wh what it is first. Is it actionable? Uh, first of all, can I delete the thing? Can, uh, can I defer it to somebody else and just wait, you know, wait for them to get it done? Is it actionable but takes more than two minutes, so I have to throw it in my action list? Is it a project? Uh, is it a wish list, like, you know, save the world? I'd probably throw that in someday, maybe. Or is this just something I need to be reminded about? So during the process phase, when I dump things into my inbox from email or, or Twitter uh, through SMS, since I don't have an iPhone yet, um, as you guys can see here, this is my iPhone countdown, by the way, 33 days, 22 hours, 48 minutes. So I'm pretty excited about that. But until then, I... I I process. I bring these items in from various uh, ways into my inbox. Sometimes I do them right inside Tuli Do. Uh, so this, for example, will be an actionable task, and it's going to be a based. Uh, it's going to be something more personal. It's not based on work or my uh, website or my business. So let's say personal. Of course, if you hit R on the keyboard for the, if you got keyboard shortcuts, it does a refresh. You can see my inbox is now processed to zero. Before I go to my action list, for the sake of not showing certain content, if you guys can uh, bear with me here, I'm going to switch to personal right up front. So on the action list, if I didn't have that filter on, you will be able to see every action in my life, including work-related, my website, my business, and personal. Um, I, I want to filter by personal because I don't want to show certain things on there. But as you can see, all your actions, actionable items, go under this list and I simply mark with a star the ones that are next actions. Under the project tab, the reason I like this is because the proje projects are separated from actionable items. And um, another thing you'll notice is that I use the Grease Monkey script to automatically uh, expand my subtask. The reason I do that is I want to be able to make sure there's any actionable next actions under any of my uh, projects and I want to be able to see those and glance at them very quickly. My waiting for list will have anything that's uh, waiting for. Um, example, report from a, a report from Bob, someday maybe. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Again, I'm just going to go through the basic folder layout in this video. Um, you have your Sunday maybe and your ticklers. I've got a little lag going here, so I apologize. Order a space 10, someday maybe. And uh, then you got your ticklers, which are just, to me, simple reminders. They're not tasked with specified due dates. Um, some of my ticklers may become tasked. Um, as I get tickled or reminded by them, I may decide to move them over to my actions list, this, which, is, which is why I like this setup. I can move them between different areas of GTD very quickly. So that's pretty much my basic layout for folders. The next video I'm going to go into the context side of it a little more to show you some pretty neat things with this particular setup and also my search, custom search. So hope this kind of helped you guys out with the layout, and the uh, next video is coming soon.